What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance, and today I do have something I want to talk about. When there's something very important that I feel needs to be put out there for not only myself, but for music artists like myself. And that is, you know, all in all, just how the music industry is so screwed up and what within the music industry needs to change. And I'm not just speaking for myself, you know, like I said, I'm speaking on behalf of every music artist out there that has put in the hard work, the time, and the effort. But uh, let me... Invite some... Invite some people here. Because I, I want this to go viral because like, this is something really important that I feel needs to be changed within the industry. Is that it? Yeah, we're good. Yo, shout out to Dan. Lance, Sam, what up? But, uh, one thing I've noticed about the music industry is that every artist that's actually really good doesn't get signed. I mean, the music industry is, like, How do I put this? Like, they're basically not signing the good artists that deserve a shot. Because a lot of these good artists that do deserve a shot are like myself and don't have any money. And the music industry is messed up in the way that they want artists who are coming up to pay to be signed. When what they don't realize is a lot of these good artists don't have money. I mean, like myself, I have no money. I'm lucky to even be in, to be able to do the show that I'm doing in June. I'm lucky to even be able to do that. But with the music industry, it's like it's hard to get signed. Because too many labels want like a hundred plus dollars just to be signed and i'm sorry but that's messed up like if you really think about it that is that's the wrong way to do it paying to be signed on a label is like paying to work a job that's like you know paying to be signed on a label is like paying your boss for you to work it don't add up I mean, yeah, I get that, you know, the label needs to make money, but that's where, you know, distribution sales and stuff comes in. You take a little bit from each artist each month and let them keep the rest. And this is something that I've been noticing a lot more lately because I've been working with a lot of artists over these last few months and just a lot of artists are not signed and they're really good. Like, they really deserve a chance, but yet no label will sign them because they don't have money. And I, it, it's sad. I, I, I know I spoke about this before, but it's really getting to the point where it needs to stop. Like, with me, instead of, you know, labels focusing on my physical appearance, they need to start focusing on my music and what I'm doing and what I'm putting out. Like, it's honestly stupid. Like, why would I pay a record label to sign me when they could take 20, 30% out of my check each month that I make from sales? Like, it's sad. Like, I know that, you know, You know, I know that I'm not signed because of my physical appearance, which is stupid. It really is. 
even now with me doing the show, I've got labels bashing me, telling me that I don't deserve to be signed because of my physical appearance. When y'all motherfuckers ain't even hear my music, or if you have, you haven't really given it a chance to be heard. And y'all motherfuckers do that shit so way too many people, and honestly, I'm tired of it. Like, I'm honestly tired of seeing good artists like myself get turned down just because we don't have any money. That bullshit about spending money to make money, that shit ain't true. And I'm a living testament to that. And look at me. You know, I have no money, and yet here I am in June playing my first show. Live on stage. At the Vortex. I'm a living testament to that. You don't need money to make money. You need to make money so that you have money to spend on stuff that you need for your career. Like, these labels got it so fucking, this music industry has got it so fucked up and so twisted that it's like, you know, I don't even know where to fucking start. I mean, yeah, I get that, you know, you need to pay for certain things and whatnot, but dude, take 10 to 20, 30% out of my check each month and put that towards what you need. Don't sit there and make me pay 50 bucks for a fucking contract. It's stupid. It don't cost no money for y'all to do that, but yet y'all want artists to sign to, you know, to, you know, pay to be signed. Like, are you kidding me? Like, it's honestly stupid. I've been doing music since 2010, and never in my entire life of doing music have I ever been so insulted by the music industry, not only bashing on myself, but tearing down good artists who deserve a shot. And people wonder why I'm not signed. This is the exact reason, because they want me to pay to be signed, and they don't want to sign me because of my physical appearance. I mean, yeah, I get that I need money to start on my own label, which is what I'm hoping that this show will spark. I'm hoping this show will spark that up. Because, you know, honestly, I'd love to run my own label, but I can't because I have no money to put toward, you know, the fees, all that shit. Like, you know, I'm just an honest artist trying to make a living off of what he does best. And yeah, I know I'm not able to play baseball because of, you know, obviously camps want like a hundred plus for the camps. So, you know what? I do the next best thing I'm good at, which is music. And yet for these levels to sit there and bash on me and tear me down, like it's honestly ridiculous and I'm fucking tired of it. And people wonder why I want to fucking up and retire so damn bad half the time. This is exactly why. Because I get and put everything I can into it. You know, I put every single ounce of every single thing I got into my music. Yeah, what do I get in return? I get bashed on, belittled, put down, told that I'll never make it. I get told that my looks ain't good enough for the music industry. Well, you know what, motherfucker? There's a lot of people out there that don't look, you know, good like a lot of these other artists do. And then look at that. They're making it. They're making millions. Prime example. Legendary music artist and singer David Bowie. Didn't look the best, but look at him. The man was a fucking millionaire. So instead of judging on motherfucking looks and the fact that you don't have money, start considering what the artist can and can't do. Bring the artist on. Sign them. Help them out. Help them distribute their stuff. And take money from their check each month. Don't just sit there and make them sign away for 40, 50 bucks. It don't work like that.
you know, and people wonder why I'm so pissed off. A lot of the times this is exactly why, because people like myself work so hard, yet we get nowhere. You know, like, y'all motherfuckers don't get it. Like, you really don't. I mean, yeah, I know I should be I should be doing something about it instead of sitting here bitching about it. But you know what? Every day I get up, I do something about it. I put my music out for the people. I do what I got to do, and yet what do I get in return? Nothing but fucking hate, drama, and bullshit. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of getting the hate. I'm tired of being bashed on for my physical appearances. And I'm tired of seeing other artists like myself go through the same shit. They don't deserve that. And neither do I. You know, there's a lot of good artists out there that deserve a shot that are like myself. And for y'all to just pass right over them as if they don't fucking matter, it's stupid. It really is stupid. Like, you know, I've worked with major fucking artists and bands in the past. So you would think that, that would play some kind of, you know, consideration factor. I mean, you know, I've done shit with the homies six seconds. I've done shit with fucking Elucidus. I've done stuff with all members of Freak Show Records. Minus Tarantula. You know, I've done stuff with fucking Nightcore, for God's sakes. So you would think that that would play a factor, but no. I still get bashed on. Even though I've worked with guys like the band Nightcore, I still get fucking ripped on and bashed on in the long run. I even had one of my own songs remixed by my boy Julian Solano from Nightcore. Like, that right there is a huge milestone. That's a huge deal. If you get one of your songs remixed by one of the biggest EDM groups on the planet, like Nightcore or Two-Tone Committee, that's a huge fucking deal. But even still, for me to be ripped on and bashed on, even after I had one of my best songs, you know, remixed by Nightcore, like, then it's fucked up. I mean, normally I would sit here and say, you know, the world ain't against me on this. But you know what? The entire fucking music industry is against me on this. So, like, every motherfucker I come across wants to stop my progression now. I'm fucking tired of it. Like, you know, it, it's stupid. Like, why would I want to spend money to make money? That's like me paying to work a job that I hate. Like, it's retarded as fuck. Like, what happened to the days where you didn't have money? What happened to the days where labels sign you regardless of whether you have money or not? Like, what happened to those days? Prime example, Elvis Presley. The king of fucking rock and roll. Hell, the king of fucking music in general. The man had no money. But look at it. Look at where he got. Machine Gun Kelly had no money. He was homeless. And look where he got. And I could keep on going on and on for hours about many bands and artists that didn't have a single fucking dime in their name but still made it. So if they can do it, why can't somebody like myself get a shot at doing that? Like, when am I going to get my shot? When... Am I going to get my fair chance to prove to everybody that I can do this? Like, you know, I bust my ass every fucking day putting out music and coming up with ideas. I'm that motherfucker that stays up till 2, 3 in the morning. Yeah. Peace. Share this around.